In this video, I'm going to look at putting music into power music using scanners. So let's go to the new song to load up the song editor. And we have two options here for scanning. We can use a conventional flatbed scanner or we can use a document scanner, which is a live scanner. I'll cover both of these in this video. So let's look first of all at the conventional flatbed scanner. We select this tab. And then from our drop down list, we select the driver for the scanner we have attached to our computer or wirelessly connected. In my case, it's the Epson scanner here. Click on the scan button. Wait a few seconds for the scanner to uh, get going. And there we have the piece of music uh, scanned in. Now I've deliberately put this in a bit of an angle and upside down to show you how we can use the tools to manipulate the scanned image. First thing we want to do, I think, is rotate it the right way up. And then I think we want to de-skew it, which means get the stave lines horizontal, or as we say in Scotland, stop the squintiness of the lines. And that cleverly lines up everything horizontally. We also want now to select just an area of this. We don't want the whole thing. And we'll crop to that area. And finally, we'll change the brightness and contrast in order to get rid of the greyness in the back of this. So first of all, we'll increase the brightness and the contrast a bit. And I think that looks not too bad. I'll apply that. And I think that's a perfectly readable piece of music. So there's how we can put a piece of music in. We've, of course, got to do the final stage, which is to add that sheet of music. And we see it appearing down the bottom here in the song editor. Now I could put another sheet of music under the scanner and repeat the process. If I line it up very accurately, I can use the redo and scan and add feature, which repeats all the operations I've performed on that piece of music. I'll actually show you that on the live scanner. It's much more impressive seeing it on the live scanner. So there we have added one of the pages of this piece of music using a conventional flatbed scanner. Let me now just switch over to the document scanner. I click on the tab here to select it. And if necessary, I go to the drop down list here and select the scanner I want. And this is a live scanner. So as I put the music underneath here, you can see it being updated. And I'm going to put this in again. I'll line it up fairly well, but not exactly. So what I'm getting is a live preview here of the music. I will scan it. And that captures the image and shows it in the preview screen there. Now again, I need to perform some manipulation in this before I can use it. So the first thing I want to do again is to rotate it to get it the right way up. I think I need to de-skew it as well. Again, I can select an area. And then crop to that area. And finally change the brightness and contrast. So I'll put the brightness up a bit and increase the contrast a bit as well. Apply that. And there we have it. Now I add that in as a second page. So I go add a new page. And now I'm going to show you how we can use this uh, redo, scan and add feature. I just turn over the page here and click on the button. And notice it performed all of the operations on that scan. I can do the same again. Next page. So you can very, very quickly put in the pages of music using the live scanner. Now, obviously, all I'm doing here is importing the odd pages. So what I'll do once I've done that is simply turn the book round, do exactly the same thing for the even pages, and then I'm able to reorder them by dragging the thumbnails here to put them in the correct order so I can get my piece of music in exactly the way I want it. So that's adding music using either a flatbed scanner, conventional flatbed scanner, or using one of our live document cameras, which is a really easy and quick way of getting your music into power music. Remember, of course, at the end, you have to save the piece of music. So before you save it, you have to give it a title. And once you've given it a title, simply click on the Save button. Remember as well, you can add in all this other information here for tagging your music. So you can search for it by author, by category, by library. You can put in a melody, you can put in an audio link, put the tempo in, do all of these things.